I didn't start playing rugby until I was 35. Um, my first game was against these guys, Battersea Ironsides. When I turned up, uh, the captain was tearing his hair out, Bill Quayle it was, and he looked stressed and very unhappy. The person who was supposed to be playing hooker uh, hadn't turned up, and so he said to me, Stephen, you are starting and you're playing the full game. I was terrified. I had no idea. I'd been to a couple of training sessions, but I knew very little. I'd been told one thing, that if, um, in the unlikely event of me getting the ball, I should hold on to it and run forwards. That's all I knew, and apart from that, there was nothing. We had a big pre-match huddle. Uh, Bill told everyone to look after each other and support each other. I thought, I hoped somebody was going to be supporting me. Um, and the game started. And there was stuff happened. The ball was moved around, people ran around, tackles happened. At one point I was at the back of a bundle of bodies and suddenly the ball was thrust into my belly and I held onto it. And I thought, okay, I've got to run. So I ran forward. And for some reason, no one had spotted me and I slipped through the crowd and I was off. And I was running freely, quite as fast as I could, towards their touchline, incredibly. And then I realised that some people were running towards me and they were probably running a bit faster than me and they were probably going to get me and they were probably going to flatten me. And I didn't really know what I was supposed to do then. So I remember there was some vague thing about passing backwards. So I knew I had to pass the ball, get the ball behind me somehow. So I thought, well, I'll just loop it above my head and hope for the best. So I did it, I threw it up and I was tackled anyway and splattered into nothingness on the floor and the ball bounced away and probably the opposition got it and probably ran away with it and probably scored a try, I don't know. But it was the hat that happened and I'd had that run with the ball for the first time and I suddenly began to understand what it was about this game that was so much fun. So thanks to Battersea Ironsides for giving me the first taste of the game of rugby and to the prop who called me little legs throughout the rest of that game. Bill Quayle, the captain, of course, fined me afterwards five pounds for my appalling looping throw. And thank you to everyone who I've played with ever since. Um, and I'm hoping once this wretched coronavirus thing is over, I'll see you back on a pitch somewhere soon and we can have another game of rugby and another couple of beers afterwards. Take care.